So we are here in the middle of the countryside near Adrios Ogianos, this little town. And we're trying to get on top of this hill. As you can see, there is an interesting wall over there, even with a nice gate. But the only way through we found so far is through this olive, privately owned olive tree field. So we're trying to get to the other side of this hill and see if the access from there is easier. Otherwise, we will go up from here. There actually seems to be a pathway here, but I'm not sure whether it's it's a path of the locals or if it's a real path for going up to the ruins. Okay, I mean, we may have found an easier access to the ruins. The road was going a little bit uphill, actually, on the same hill. And here there's a, an easy road, open, no fences that goes through the olive trees and you can see there on top you can already identify some walls and now I hope there's no fence here but there doesn't seem to be any fence the olive tree field is finished and now we go into the wild to reach these walls so that's the olive tree field we came from and as you can see the path is not really a path it's just jumping from one outcropping stone to the other. But it's, yeah, it's feasible. I don't believe there is an official entrance to this place. It just, it's recognized as a place. I found it on the archaeological uh, site of the local area. But There's no entrance fee, there's no ticket, and I guess there's probably, if a lot, a hundred visitor a year. Okay, so what we have here is a wall, clearly polygonal, actually a very nice polygonal wall with very nice joints, leaning on outcropping stones. It's actually really being adapted to the stones that were coming out and it, there's a right angle corner here and he goes on in that direction with very nice blocks look at that one and this officially supposed to have been a fort so a fort on top of this hill you see there's quite some stones fallen stones these are original stones are on the wall, I guess, because they are too nicely shaped. So since we cannot go in on that side, we will move to this side. You don't really find a lot of information about this site, or at least I haven't been able to find it somewhere in some archive of the Greek Archaeological Society. There's probably some study being done, maybe a hundred years ago or something, I'm not sure. but. For sure there's nobody here. We are the only visitors today. Oh, and here there's a... Ah, there is a chamber here, which probably was a water cistern. Here we have another corner of the wall that goes on in that direction. Maybe we go later. Now I'd like to move to the top because there's another wall over there inside this first one wall. There are some pathways in the tall grass, so they're not really the only ones coming here. But of course, since it's not indicated anywhere, if you look it on Google Maps, you just find the Greek name, which unfortunately I still cannot read. But these, again, is a part of a polygonal wall, which is very nice. See the joints. So this is a quite massive block. You can see it's definitely polygonal. And here we have probably the highlight of this site. 
which is this beautiful gate here. Beautiful gate. With a nice lintel. You can see there in the corner somebody made the joint to house the lintel. And here we have a few of these joints which are really, really nice and precise. Look at that. And here, where the gate is, right beside the gate, the stone has been cut, so the, the concave part has been taken out. And we have exactly the same on this side. Let's see here, until here it's so I'm trying to point, it's concave, and then here it's flat, and here it's the same, and this one has been moved, this one has moved, probably, but it has the same feature up to here, it's concave, and here it's flat, and here the corner has been done the same way, you see. Oh, okay, here we have the one part that they really loved with this stone positioned vertically. Here we have another very nice joint. I mean, this almost really looks like Peruvian here too. Now the, the stones have moved, but the, the joint was really made to adapt one stone around the other. So I remind you, this is supposed to be a fortress and it has actually two circles or two squares of stones around it. There's a lower stone and there's a higher square here. And this stone is huge. I mean, it's all shaped to be polygonal, but it's, yeah, at least two meters. But then it's, it's very deep, it's, it's very tall. I mean, that's one meter fifty at least. And it's, yeah, I'd guess a meter deep. So it's really, again, not small stuff. Thank you, Deborah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, one more observation. Here we have this side, which is almost all in, uh, in the earth still. It's actually flat. It seems to be man-made flat. You see, they're, they're all the same si height stones. They don't, they don't go higher than that. So it looks like it's man-made. It's a man-made flatness. Whereas on this side, there are probably some stones have fallen off. It's not flat at all. You can see, it's not flat at all. And uh, there's two lines of stone. One inner line and one outer line. Both here as well as there. You can see it in both places. Two lines of stone. And probably here as well, let me check. Yeah, there's some indications here, just some indications that you have one line here and one line there. And my estimate to give you a size is that this higher square is about 8 meters by 8 meters. It seems to be square. It might be 7, it might be 9, but not, not much more, much less. Whereas the lower part, and you can see they're going that way, and then turning that way, and then turning that way, so it's three sides. I would say from there to there, it's about 20 meters, my guess. And then I don't know how much it comes in, because then it ends there by the outcropping stones there. And it's probably about the same on this side or it's just collapsed down there. You can hardly see. I'll go check if there's more down there. Okay, I'm here on one of the outcrops. There came the wall from there, the one I just showed you that was seemed to be interrupted by these outcrops. So I'm coming down here. It's not really an easy way down, but it's feasible. And that's to the credit of Deborah. She noticed that actually something continued down there. There are some stones still, still there. So we are here 
at the outer, outside the outer square. And here you can see the same features as always before. The corner has been smoothed out. I try to go around this corner and the wall goes on, but there's no way through from here. I have to go around this tree, so just a second. So it's been a second for you, it's been two minutes for me, but here I am on the other side of those bushes and we can see the outer wall with very, very nice joints and nice polygonal stones. I'll go up to show you closer because it's really worth it. Like this one is really amazing with this kind of rough L-shaped and there's another one over there and there's many more over there but again I will have to go around the tree to film them okay still trying to get to the third wall and here we are again went around some bushes and just to give you a sense of scale these are not small stones they're not huge but they're not small but the feature, as I said, is really the way they've been nicely fit one to the other in this polygonal style. Here again, you can see how it goes down like that and can move on. All convex coming out from the joints, they around it somehow around it to get out so again just for give you a sense of scale this is the size of that one boulder deborah is sitting on it's big really big as i was saying all these uh, single blocks are all convex meaning that they are rounded coming out you can see it now with the sun a little bit from the side and you can really see it like that and uh, if it was a military building then you wouldn't do that because if you were capable of making it, making it flat like they did here on the door that would be more sensible because on these rounded parts it's actually easier for an enemy to climb like Deborah is doing I mean you have some place to to lean your feet to lean to hold your hands so it doesn't really make sense to make a military building with this rounded stones coming out because that makes it easier for whoever the enemy is going to be if it's human kind of enemy that's going to make it easier for the enemy to climb and invade your fort so here there's a drop of at least 20 to 30 meters and down to the bottom of the hill is going to be probably more but still they made another piece of wall there so one last shot of the beautiful view we have here from this alleged fort near Agios Adrianos which is the town in the background and also to give you a sense of scale that's the size of the lintel of this unknown and small gate on the top of this remote hill here in Argos.